Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. So Capricorn, the one card I got is the Six of Swords. So I think your reading is gonna be pretty short. Um, you're done. It's just over. This talks about transition. So if you're transitioning, then that means that most times it's like a process to transition. You don't just, you can transition overnight, but was that a transition? It was kind of like, you know, a move, like a, a, a fast move, right? So some of you could be transitioning, like this could take you some time to get out of this, to move away from it, to let it go. The Six of Swords talks about moving away from the headache of a, a previous relationship. Relationship can be any type of dynamic, friendship, romantic, business, you know, and so forth. But whatever relationship you're in, you're moving on from the headache of it. You just don't need it. The Six of Swords says moving on in secrecy and silence. That's why this is transition. It was like you weren't loud about this. You weren't like you weren't declaring that you were going to do this and do that. It was just like, let me just get my stuff together or get myself together, get my mentality together and just move on. It's the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords also talks about charting a new path to happiness. The best way to fix a problem is to leave it. And that's, and you're leaving someone, something, leaving it behind. This can even be a chaotic work environment. Like you're leaving it behind. It's too much chaos, too much drama, too much fighting, too much tension, too much uh, backbiting. Uh, uh Gotta go. And you're just manifesting better newness. Some of you are going to walk into entrepreneurship, like you're just going to really just do it. Some of you, this could be leaving a relationship behind where there's like long distance. You're choosing to do this, like you're not forced. There's no decision. Your back isn't up against the wall. You just choose to like, it, it's just better for you and your mental health. You might have been dealing with somebody who was in love with you or you in love with them, but there was no verbalization of it. Nobody, they didn't verbalize how much they loved you, cared for you, devoted to you, respect you, this, that, no. They tried to show you at times, but it just wasn't enough. Something isn't enough. You are reconciling. Yeah, you're recon reconciling the fact that you need to move on is done and you're leaving something or someone out. There could even be somebody leaving you out or planning to leave you. Could be the other way around. You may be coming off as very passive at this time, just letting shit slide, just being passive because you, you have a plan in mind and it's to transition, move on in secrecy and silence. Get the fuck on. Like you just, that's how your mind is working at this time. You're going to take the lead on this. There's something you're doing. It's going to transition you to a big success, like commercial success, um, something being wildly successful. This could even be e-commerce. It's something you, you're doing on the web. When you sell something, sell yourself, sell items. I don't know. It could be really big for you. You're leaving something out or leaving it behind. Whether it be a job, person, place, or thing, I don't know. But it's like you just vibing in the energy of I, I need to follow my life purpose, my life path. I need to get in my life path and my life purpose because I know once I do that, everything else is going to fall into place. When you're unhappy in what you do day to day, every single day, how are you expecting happiness in any other arena in your life? So you've got to get you got to tackle that. And I know you say, well, hold on, my friend, she works at the same place as me and she's unhappy too. She hates her job too. She has a marriage and she has kids and she has, is she happy in that? Is she taking that unhappiness at the job home? Will the marriage last? Are the kids happy? Is it a happy home life? 
you don't know. Start with you is what the universe tells us. Start with you. Fix you. Get you together. Do what you love to do. Get paid to do it. And then everything else will be accounted to you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is just finding your purpose in this life. And then everything else falls into place. You don't have to work so hard to find somebody, keep somebody. Do No, it just falls into place. Everything else is fringe benefits anyway. You are not, I know what the world tells you that there's somebody for everybody and you will find your one and you, you too will have love. Everybody ain't going to get that. And you weren't promised that. Those are fringe benefits to firstly being on your purpose. How do you know your purpose? Firstly, you'll know your purpose because it's serving more than just you. You being a clerk down at the courthouse only serves you. You get your paycheck, you pay your bills, you, you take yourself out to lunch, you do you. It serves only you. You're part of a bigger dynamic. Does that mean that everybody needs to go and quit their job and, you know, do X, Y, and Z? No, it, it might even mean that you need to get an outlet, a, a hobby, something that you can maybe even monetize or do for free that serves someone else. It, 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 there's reciprocation and you doing it and all, all you need to get from that is knowing that you helped someone or you gave something or you talked to someone or you, whatever it may be. That's the reciprocation there. You pushing papers is not reciprocating in any way and you're not being creative and we were made to create and that's why you're so despondent and so checked out and so unhappy. So find your happiness and then you'll get all of the fringe benefits that we're all looking for, right? So I'm talking with you and not at you. So keep that in mind. And it looks like you're leaving something out. It could be a job. It could be a person, whatever it is. It doesn't make you happy anymore. And it gave you a, a massive headache. That's what I got for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Type the person first initial who gave you a massive headache down in the comment section. Um, and some of you can be bold enough to type the whole name. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Capricorn, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Um, connect with me if you're a business minded individual via KTMG. Keep the momentum going monthly conference calls where we talk about, you know, uh, rational or practical and intuitive, um, uh, business method or connect with me via a complimentary discovery call. All the links are below and uh, you can get your tarot card reading at the website level, okay? Um, what else? I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on down. Thank you, Capricorn. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, an intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.